Now let's see who will fill the final semifinal spot. Let's go back to Greg for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, our final race of the first round of the men's tournament. On my right, in the blue lane, the number six seed from Hamden, Connecticut, Tom Alberti. And to my left in the red lane, the number three seed from New Egypt, New Jersey, Joseph Meissner. Both of these men with great connections to the NNL, the elder Tom Alberti, the owner of Hamden Ninja Academy, and Joe Meisner, training under NNL President Chris Wolcheski at Movement Lab. Yeah, none of our analysts picked Joe, but I'm calling it right now, he's my pick to win it all. Well, he has a tall order in Tom Alberti. He was the winner of the Open Qualifier two weekends ago. And he had a very impressive performance in the closed Qualifier, so both men are going to give it their best. And interesting here, Joe stops to chalk up more. Pocket chalk. Yeah. Meanwhile, Tom catching the vertical board. Oh, oh but he no! missed! He missed! Oh! I think Joe is going to have to beat this obstacle, but he's beaten it twice already in the closed Qualifier. A stunning defeat. Tom knew he had to do something special here and went for it on the boardwalk. Joe Meisner, meanwhile, with chalk flying out of his pants, is going to finish, and he picks up the win to the delight of the crowd. Shame that we've lost Tom Alberti Ladies this early. Your winner, due to by default of progression, Joseph Meisner. But Joe Meisner advancing, and so much for that rest that we were talking about with Paul. Yeah, that advantage that Paul had instantly taken away a shocking fall from Tom. We saw so much better from him the entire qualifier process that uh, that was just a freak whiff on the grab. An unfortunate mistake there for Tom Alberti. He didn't even fall in the vertical section. He fell coming off of the vertical section. Just going to show you, Bill, there are a lot of obstacles that can be failed, not just the two crux points. It just goes to show this is not just a, a physical challenge, it's a mental challenge. I think maybe Tom stopped thinking about this obstacle, he took his eye off the goal, and he just whiffed in a very unfortunate way. We know he's so much better, but unfortunately he's out. A wise man once told me it's not always the strongest athletes that win, it's the smartest athletes that win. You know who told me that? Who? The older Tom Alberti. Oh, no.